What's going on YouTube? Chiasnoid here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to save your iOS SHSH blobs in order to use them for downgrades in the future. This video is brought to you by Wondershare and their software PDF Element 6, which allows you to edit, convert and create PDFs on your Mac. Check the program out in the link below and don't forget to check out their advent calendar website where you can win some prizes until the Christmas. Check it out in the link below. So in order to save the blobs, you're going to use TSS Saver. Some of you probably already know this tool because I presented it a lot every time a new iOS version comes out and the reason for that is that in between iOS versions I do get new subscribers a lot of them and that of course means that a lot of people do not know how to save them and why they should do that in the first place so let me explain why you should save your blobs before we're going to actually do it so if you go ahead in here on ipsw.me you can see which iOS versions are currently signed by Apple which means that you can go to that version and you can restore to that version with no restriction and which ones are currently unsigned which means that it's impossible to go to these versions even if you wanted to so you probably know that jailbreaks usually appear for ios versions that are no longer signed it was a case for the ios 10.3.x 10.2.x ios 11.x and probably is going to be the case for the ios 12 as well so the problem is that if you do not stay on the proper ios version you may miss out on a possible jailbreak so in order to add some layer of protection for your device you're going to save the blobs which would allow you in certain conditions to pretty much downgrade or upgrade in the future to a better version that is jailbroken so in order to save the blobs the iOS version in cause has to be signed already in this case we can no longer save the blobs for 12.0 11.4.1 12.0.1 and so on, but we can save the blobs for 12.1 and 12.1.1. And this is what we're going to do today. In order to save your own, all you need to do is to get your device and of course access this website in here, tsssaver.onecanon.com. This allows you to both check the blobs if they are valid, you know, the ones that you already saved. You can also use this one to pretty much uh, retrieve the blobs that you have saved previously. Now, in order to save with this one, all you have to do is to go ahead in iTunes with the device connected. You do not have to update it, by the way. And all you need in here is to press serial number once twice and there you go you have the ACID right click on it and press copy now you can see that I'm running iOS 12.0.1 a version that is no longer signed however I want to get the blobs for the latest version 12.1.1 and also for the previous one 12.1 which happens to be signed I can still do that without having to update my device so you don't have to update you paste your ACID number in here and select carefully the device that you have. In this case, it's an iPod 6th generation in here. And there we go. We're going to press another robot and probably we're going to have to uh, select something. And there we go. Now, if you press submit in here, it's going to take a few seconds and then you're going to have your blob saved. And this is your link. You should probably bookmark that because this one is pretty much the link for your device. And as you can see, it shows up all the versions that I currently have signed. Now, I'm not entirely sure why 5.1.1 shows up as signed in there because this device that I have never ran 5.1.1 in the first place. But yeah, anyways, as you can see, 12.1.1 and 12.1 blobs have been saved. And this is how you do it. If you want to download a zip file, you can definitely do so. And you're going to have all your blobs in there, but they will also be saved. You can see that I have all the blobs that I have saved over the months and even over the years because I started back in January 2017. So they do keep a record of your blobs in here if you ever need them again. And in order to retrieve them, all I have to do is to go back to this website in here and instead of saving, you go to recover SHSH link and you paste it in here and you press get your blobs and it will redirect you to here where you have all your blobs saved. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated on the channel. We'll keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community. The reason we're saving this blobs is in order to pretty much be able to downgrade in the future if certain conditions are met. And that is the secure enclave processor and the basement being compatible and of course an exploit being available. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'm Geosnow and until next time, peace out.